AI image generation is getting pretty advanced and Bing just launched their own image generator to complement their new chat offering that they've just launched a couple weeks ago. Is this thing any good? And how does it compare to Midjourney and the existing DALI? Well, let's check it out. You can go to bing.com slash create. And I'm using Edge, by the way, just in case. This is brand new. It's in preview. I, I might not even have access to it. Let's try it out. A MacBook sitting on a desk in a brightly lit room. Join and create. Okay, it says, please wait. Your images are currently in progress. I guess this is working. Now, if you come to this page initially, you might see like a, a wait list type of situation, which is pretty common these days for these AI tools. And that's what I did initially. But now that I came back, it knows who I am. Uh, it's creating an image for me, apparently. And it's got this 10 up here. Create images more quickly with boosts. If you run out, image generation may take longer. I have 10 boosts. It looks like a lot of people might be hopping on this now that the news is out of the bag. And it says, thanks for your patience. Your images are on the way, but it's taking longer than expected. Now, I don't have a, a time frame when this is going to be fully released. So keep an eye out on that. But what I really want to see is iterative approaches to generating images with text. What I mean by that is, uh, in ChatGPT, for example, you can create a prompt, it'll generate some text, and then you have a sort of context that you're working with that the chat is aware of, you're aware of it, and you can create modifications to the previously generated uh, text. You can keep going further and generate more text based on what's already in the context. And I wanna see that come to images because at this point in time, there isn't a tool that does that. And I'm hoping that Bing chat or Bing image creator will change that where you can create an image from a text prompt just like you can with mid journey and with other ones like Dolly. And then you can say, well, I like that. But can you modify it just a little bit? Can you move this little part of the image here? Can you just recolor this part of the image? Uh, now, Adobe just announced their Firefly project, which I'm also on the wait list for all these wait lists, but that looks pretty promising. I can't wait to try that out. By the way, do you use any of these tools? Let me know in the comments down below. I myself use mid journey most often uh, because so far it's had the best results. Dolly was pretty impressive a year ago, but it hasn't moved on. The news is that this image generation by Bing is using the new version of Dolly underneath the hood. I don't know what version that is. Dolly 2.5, Dolly 3, um, don't know, but it's not a new official version of Dolly that you can use by going to labs. So here's labs and the images that it generates were pretty impressive a year ago, but this stuff moves really fast. So they're not so anymore. And I'm afraid Dolly hasn't really kept up. Not like mid journey has. I had to open a new tab because that one just uh, froze for a while. Here it is on a new tab, same prompt being generated. And now I have nine boosts. Well, the progress bar just came to an end, but then it jumped back to the beginning. This is new stuff, folks. Okay, it's exciting, but it also might have a little bit of a growing pain going on here. We're getting used to that, aren't we? Well, darn, I am gonna show you something. You watch this video for a reason and you wanna see something. And if this thing is not gonna work, I'm gonna try the surprise me button. Uh, my create button is no longer a button. I mean, it's still a button, it's just deactivated and my surprise me button doesn't work either. Okay, it finally finished and uh, yeah, that took a really, really long time. This one, the first one is still not done. The second one finished and uh, the third one just never gave me an option to create anything because I guess it detected that I was already running two queries, so it didn't do it. Here is the result. The Apple logo looks kind of chopped up. It's using some kind of really interesting lens, most of the images blurry. It puts a little Bing logo at the bottom there. Easy to get rid of, but still annoying. It is a brightly lit room. I wouldn't call these great images though. Just to give you an idea of what mid journey creates, here's some MacBook pictures I've been creating. One of these was actually in my thumbnail recently. Uh, I'm going to use the same exact prompt and run it through mid journey version five. And I'm also going to use Dali. I do have some credits left on Dali. So let's, uh, let's use them because I probably won't be using them too long. And we might as well see who finishes first. Now, Mid Journey version five is quite a bit slower than version four. You used to have to generate the images, it would create smaller versions, and then you would upscale it. But now it's doing all of them in large scale right away. And that's what's taking a little bit longer. That's how I would explain that away. Uh, Mid Journey is done, and Dolly is also done. If I look at the Dolly images, 
they're actually very, very similar to what's generated by Bing Create. And the Apple logo is definitely even more messed up here. I would call these pretty unusable. Let's take a look at the Mid Journey version. The desk, the room, these are a lot more clear, a lot more realistic. The MacBooks themselves, well, this is actually one of the older models of MacBook right here. Here's the 16 inch MacBook Pro. They're all older varieties of MacBooks, but they look more like MacBooks. I'm impressed that the keyboards is not messed up. The keys are actually, they look pretty decent. They're not perfect, but they look much better than Dolly's version. It never gets the words MacBook Pro or MacBook correct, but the scenery is generally way better in Mid Journey. I'm hopeful for this technology to improve, but so far from what I've seen, Bing Image Creator is not that impressive unless you're doing maybe more artistic stuff. Here's some examples on their homepage. Surprise me should generate a prompt up here for you automatically. It populates the text box and then you can click create and then wait for it to uh, finish yet again. Did a pretty good job here with this surprise me. The number two made out of leaves on a teal background, photorealistic. It's not realistic, it's just photorealistic. Let's see how Mid Journey does. Here we go, Mid Journey on the left and Bing on the right. Which one do you think is better? Maybe Bing is really good at this kind of things. I, I think actually Bing's is a little bit better. Mid Journey thought that the leaves should also be teal, apparently. I provided only one color in the description. I could go a little further and refine it, but we're talking about a teal background, not teal leaves. So in this case, Bing did better. I would say for photos, go to Mid Journey for now, version five for things like this, abstract art, photo realistic art. Maybe Bing is good. You want to see more of these? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.